Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Marie. And we're the Old School Soulmates. And we're going to talk about what's sold on eBay this week. Uh, probably this week and last week. I don't know how long ago this is. Yeah, maybe, maybe three maybe, weeks even. Maybe or half a week. I don't know. There's a lot of sales yeah, during this time. So exactly. I'm not sure how many we got we here. signed up for those payment things. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> That's just coincidence. <laughs> All righty. So we'll start off here with our LSU shirt. That's... And we tend to try to pick up... Uh, popular colleges you know especially unusual little items this was just such a cool dress shirt it had the lsu logo everywhere and we you know people are real loyal to their schools and when it's mm -hmm. in great shape we had some lsu christmas ornaments and oh my gosh they lasted maybe two days yeah and they and sold they for fifty dollars a piece oh that was, I thought it was more than that wasn't no, it? 59 50 yeah, yeah i, I think, paid a dollar 99 for them i just right. saw them in the trinket section and of the thrift like, store yeah, and they were just yeah. and they they were even dated for like several years earlier but yeah. they just flew off the shelf so lsu is a real popular school yeah. so we pick up that notre dame things like that you know yeah, can't go wrong with those especially when we only pay 4.99 so and these yes. are chubbies yeah this is <laughs> this is with odd short brand for men they're kind of short shorts they all have a little bit of an elastic waist and they have like a little bit of a following yeah they have a cult following on these things so. but see you know we bought these oh my gosh like a long time a ago, long time yeah, ago. it was yeah. one of those things you know those ever just have that thing that you're always looking for at the thrift store uh, you know like me i'm always looking for you know a, a just on different on and tuckets, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I never see in our area. And I, you know, we had heard know. about these from another YouTuber, and yeah, and, and he we, was talking about so. I said, these, he so. said, I am never going to find a pair of these. I turned around, there was one sitting on the shelf yeah. there, and we just, I just bought it, just but and, and it yeah. just sat. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking sat for over for, a year, yeah, and lo and behold, we sold it for thirty nine ninety five. Yeah. So, yeah. So. No, I, I don't know if I'd pick it up again. A year's a long time to wait for $40. <laughs> yeah. All right. And these, believe it or not, are Allen Edmonds. And, uh, yeah, these yeah. are normally men's dress shoes. They look like they're this sneakers, This is like a actually. casual, yeah. you know, type shoe. Not your normal Allen Edmonds, so. But they were in great shape. Yeah, Allen Edmonds is a great brand, but yeah. this, was a, this was a lower-end version of it, yeah. but I was surprised, but... Um, do we have these for a while or not really the yeah. thing is is that when i saw them you know it was less, I, I just said oh that looks like a well-made shoe and never thought it would be an allen edmund so yeah. yep so i just picked it up and we sold them for 39.95 i think right yeah you know what they were so. 39 49.95 49 yeah. yep even better so yep they were uh well, and this is just while we're in here this is a the bicycle toe they call this right so mm -hmm. so that's these where it's split Where like it's that. Split but it like that. It's split up. kind of split up like that. Yeah. yeah. So just that's a, a keyword. You always want to try to find keywords that people might look for. Right. And that's one of those shoe keywords that you want to definitely keep an eye out for. So, yep. so we're moving right along here. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, uh, the yeah, Earth Calso's. Oh, Calso okay. Earth Shoes. These were the sold and then canceled and then sold again. Yeah. So, anyways, these are Calso. Earth Calso, Calso Earth, however you want to think about it. Just remember, it's not Earth Spirit. Yeah, it's not necessarily not Earth shoe. shoe. You're kind of looking for the green swipe, I, you know, the the logo. You've kind of see how it says Earth with that swipe underneath of it. That's the that's the logo. That particular brand of shoes is a pretty high end brand of shoes. Yeah. So they always seem to sell. Every one I've ever gotten, I've mm -hmm. sold. Not maybe next day or anything, but they sell consistently. You get forty nine dollars for that one. They're expensive if you have to buy them on the outside. They're a, I think they're a negative heel where that yeah. your heel drops back. Now these are some odd echoes. Yeah, Echo's got <laughs> has some odd ones out there, but these are the Dahlia, and you know, if you don't know the name of the shoe, just search Echo Women's Sneakers, and you'll eventually come across something that looks just like yours. Yeah. Every blue moon in the label, it'll tell you what the name is, but these are kind of have a metallic finish to them, so you got kind of a bronzy. But yeah, they were, um, Echo sell well. Uh, they do, you have to make sure you really bend test them. Yeah. And really inspect them well. Give them a twist if they're a soft sole shoe, shoe like this. So uh, just to make sure, because yep. they do disintegrate, but they consistently yeah, 44 sell. Forty-four ninety-five. So. Yep. 
And this is, yeah, this is something yeah. we really don't buy much. Um, probably yeah. not at all anymore. But this one um, is, we got twenty four ninety five for this. But and you it, know, we've it, probably it, we've had, had this it forever. forever too. Yeah. yeah, Tommy Bahama used to be really hot, and and, and it still is if you get the really it unique. Is colorful ones well, and, that and kind this of thing. was something kind of unusual it was like a men's sweater yeah. but it really wasn't a sweater it, it, i don't know how to describe it but it was uh, it was 58 percent silk so it was just a really nice quality shirt had a meant to be worn out because it had split at the hem you know so yeah. it was just a really nice thing i you know it was only a medium but it was great you yeah. know and it sold for 25 dollars yeah know? we probably paid three four for it so the Dunham, not a brand I buy. Yeah. It's just, you know, I don't even know why I bought these. I think I looked them up, and I'm like, well, Dunham does sell. And I personally thought they were a really nice-looking sandal. Yeah, they I mean, in good that's, shape and everything. I mean, that's just and kind of why I picked them up. Some of our early years, you know, we we yeah, still got stuff I, that we probably need to call out of our inventory. Yeah. But, you know, it eventually sells. You I don't know. know if these were half price. There was a compelling reason why I bought these. Because yeah. these were du- du- 2A, which is extremely narrow. I don't know why I got these. Yeah. I don't even remember. But, yeah. I mean, they do sell yeah. eventually. Yeah. You get enough time. We haven't had them too, too long. Nautica for Monica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nautica, it does. It's got to be something pretty vintage, yeah. and and, and with a good spell a out. Too, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, with a good spell out, and they had a good spell out on them. Yeah. So, extra large, good size, and the person was very pleased with them. So, and that's you know that's a word really you can shape. actually use to spell out. Um, I don't know if we did or not yeah. here. Yeah, Red we did actually. Yeah. Um, but that that me you know people search spell out a lot. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Uh, everybody loves the brand big and bold across everybody yep, the knows bigger the better or nautica <laughs> yeah. so, if you've yeah. seen some tommies boy they've got like yeah. foot high letters <laughs> yeah so so that's yeah. that's something to always put in your description to spell out if there's a spell out on it like that in 29.95 yeah. this is actually a pair of shoes that were mine and yeah. uh you never wore them either did you oh wait a minute no 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 i I sold mine a while ago, but oh, this okay. is like a very similar yeah, pair. Yeah, these are brand like, new. Really. Yeah. I mean. Yep. They were brand new. And I just picked them up and they, because they were there and they were brand spanking new. I was like, you can't go wrong there, even with white sneakers, because I try to stay away from white yeah. just because it's a lot of work. But yeah, these were uh, great, you know, and uh, sold them for thirty four ninety five. Yeah. But, you know, if kids are worn or have been worn or something, it's probably not a good investment. The yeah. resale on kids is not very high. Brand new with we, tags, a whole sure. different ballgame. Most, most things, yeah, most things. Now, I'm not going to say everything, but most things you can new with tags, get away. You You're going to get $30 it. for it probably. You know, more and and you women brand. understand how it is. You, you, I, I don't know about you, but you'll find a pair of shoes fits great, and then the company changes the way it fits, changes the style a little, and you're just aggravated because you finally found something that fit so when you come across new with tags even though it's a lower end brand you know it's like people are just like oh my gosh there's that shoe yeah. <laughs> i thought i'd never see it again yep right now here's something too i wanted to mention while we're talking about something with new new without box now this is we don't do this a lot really um we sometimes do we we put that here but i think we actually listed this well, we just did new without box. So, yep. You're, so the drop downs change from time to time. There's new without tags. I don't yeah. do new without tags. To me, if there's not a manufacturer tag on there somewhere, yeah. it is not new. Period. Yeah. Keds a lot of times are sold without a box. Right. Like at Marshalls and places. And that's fine. I, what what I wanted to say about it though is that basically, um, you know, sometimes you sometimes you're tempted to put new without box and stuff and a lot of times you're better off if you under promise and over deliver you yep. know so you if like you, new if, if you say it's like new use like new because here's what's going to happen somebody's looking through the shoes and they see all these different shoes and they're they're realizing man i can't probably afford a new pair so i'm gonna look for the used ones and they might right. call it down to used and then they get down to yours and like wow that one's got tags on it holy crap exactly. you know i want that i want that shoe you know so so that's um you know and you'll get a conflict in your listing if you put like new in your in the actual title so mm-hmm. you don't you the the title should just be a description of the shoe then once you get past that very top line and you get down to where it says condition and and all of that 
that's where you can put like new but i still would put pre-owned unless like this particular yeah, this one is definitely, has a tag yeah this one's they definitely are new. cardboard on it nobody's ever worn they're this absolutely besides new besides in the showroom and, and like <laughs> i said at, at a lot of uh, a lot of sneakers are sold without a box yeah. so Here's another Calso Earth. Uh, yeah. Same manufacturer before, and these even had scuffs and stuff on them, you know. So, but these, it, it there's just such a following for these shoes. Yeah. You know, so I just pick we them up. We sold these relatively close to each other. I mean, they, yeah. we didn't have these very long. No, not at all. And forty four ninety five is not bad. No. So yeah. We pay what six dollars for most of our yeah, shoes. Yeah, five ninety nine. Yeah. So. Yeah, shoes, for, shoes cruise. for cruise now this is one that, yeah. <laughs> that generally you don't want to buy these um you know i don't even know why i did this one was excellent condition well I that mean, and they were ankle you know and i know back when i really was actively breaking my neck a lot these were just in a very unusual shoe they look so combat boot like it was weird so I, I could i didn't believe they were shoes for cruise but they are yeah. so i just picked them up on a whim and some and shoes know. for cruise are generally what fast food workers wear people in factories mm -hmm. people have to have no skid shoes and that kind of thing in certain definitely environments. kitchen environments right. is real popular for this so somebody who's a working person bought this you know yep. not somebody who's you know going to wear it out on the town <laughs> that's for sure and yep. 29.95 is not a bad price exactly. for them you know so yeah so i don't remember deal. where i got them but they were they were in really nice shape and yeah. they were i mean they were just something i'd never seen usually they're just a normal ox you know and here's a wrangler yeah. denim shirt we buy wrangler from time to time usually the ones with the super bold prints yeah. is usually what we pick up but this was more of a vintage one it was 2xl which is an excellent size this is pearl snap too right. is what they call this and yeah. with all the little vintage detailing from this particular shirt vintage sells and people are real loyal to their in denim too denim, i mean yep. denim is a real good i mean if denim it was just a regular sell cotton shirt you know we yeah. probably would have been like yeah yeah you'll see we have a, hopefully we have another denim shirt coming up that yeah, we maybe. sold to denim vintage denim shirts really really sell well and 40 dollars yeah, yeah i'm surprised so whoops okay there we this go. is sesto this was sesto golf. i don't know if these are really golf shoes but i, I just went by what it said inside of them sesto golf by sherry i you know it was one of those shoes <laughs> made in italy <laughs> it, right it was one of those shoes that when i turned it over it had the you know those little rosettes you see on the bottom of the shoe that's the golf spikes right so these are some pretty fancy golf shoes i don't know with like right. lace inside i don't yeah, know, I don't know if you but anyway the ball they were just too, <laughs> they were just too weird maybe it was for like a a, yeah. a, a picnic on the golf course yeah, I don't I don't know. Know. <laughs> but anyway so i picked them up just because they were unusual yeah and, and got 40 bucks for them. Sell, so yeah. 40 bucks on so not too bad Birkenstocks always sell. Yeah. yeah, these are fisherman sandals, which you see when you see fisherman sandals. Some have closed toes, some have open toes, but it's that very big, chunky, woven sandal. Different man, uh, many manufacturers make them, but of course, Birkenstocks, same thing. Everyone, everyone normally knows the sizing of them, so you always want to make that shot right there this is the right one here. you have yeah. to take. Got to take this. It's got the size. It's got the style of shoe. It shows that it's an actual Birkenstock and that it's the footprint there if it's open like that is wide if it's mm -hmm. filled in it's the narrower fit thing about Birkenstocks if if you're selling Birkenstocks it's a Birkenstock if you're selling Batula it's Batula by Birkenstock mm -hmm. it make sure if it's a Berkey, Berkey it's yeah. Berkey by Birkenstock say what you're selling yeah you know, because nothing's worse than yeah. going through all the pictures like me and I'm excited about buying a shoe and then I find out it's a Berkey, not a Birkenstock or yeah. a Batula. A Birkenstock's a Birkenstock. You'll you'll get you'll sell it faster. <laughs> you right. know, if it's a Birkenstock, make it sing. It's a Birkenstock. But these sold very fast. Right. Yeah, they did. Forty four ninety five. Yeah. Especially for sandals. 
Bally. Bally is a, a consistent brand. They're from Italy. Um, this this shoe had issues, and we disclosed it. It was like somebody had dropped a big old blob of like oil or like grease on it or something. Yeah. Otherwise, these things were like new. They were brand new, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were in yeah. fantastic shape. I tried with 40 different suede cleaners. This was as good as I got, and I listed it very light wear with defects. Yeah. And that was the best I could do. You know, and you can see we put that right up here. Just oh, so you yeah. see, very light yep. wear with defects. Yeah, very light with wear defects. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And then <laughs> I went on in the bottom and described the defects and everything. And you can see where I tried to clean it because you know it the way it kind of made yeah, the like the top here. you know look a little funny. But I did the best I could. But you know, there's people that'll see something like this and say, "Oh, that's no big deal." Yeah. Because they can dye the leather or something. Right. All that stuff is stuff I don't, you know, no problem. I I paid four ninety nine for it and I sold it for fifty. I'm good with that. Yeah. And yep. So just disclose it. Just don't be scared. Just disclose it. This surprisingly <laughs> enough, vintage women's pajamas and. You know, like um, dressing gowns and th sets, especially from Vanity Fair, which because Vanity Fair was like the high end back in the day. And it was you made know? in the USA, too. Yeah, and here. it's and this is a very vintage. I remember my mother getting almost this exact one for Christmas in the 70s, I think. <laughs> 70s or I, yeah it was probably the 70s but you can tell by the big old fluffy sleeves and everything yeah. this is very very vintage but probably this thing shoulder pads in it. this thing was it, it's got <laughs> stitching at the top oh, to make it looks like yeah, it has so like shoulder pads. yeah that was the 80s really the shoulder yeah. pad thing i think but um this, <laughs> this is probably I mean, before that it is just i mean it's a velour robe yeah. you know it's just it, and it was absolutely pristine yeah so it was bucks. brand new yep. so, yeah so, yeah you paid what for it uh, four ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. SAS's okay, same old SAS's. This one I couldn't get a name on these. You know what kind of SAS? You know because they're not labeled. I just listed as an Oxford. They're in great shape. Yeah. Insoles were perfect, and they were a good size, seven wide. So off they went. They didn't last right. long. That's for sure. Yeah. They always sell yeah. pretty quick. There's Patagonia some. always sells. Yeah. Um, unless it's like dog and, and t-shirts. You know, don't spend, yeah. unless you're getting t-shirts for 99 cents, don't fool, don't say, oh, it's a Patagonia, because it's not going to bring that much money. A t it's still a t-shirt. So, th yeah, these almost look camouflaged, uh, yeah, really. I mean, I thought they were kind of, uh, kind of like, uh, kind of a postmodern camouflage. <laughs> they were hard to look up too, you know, cuz they to get the name Wavefarer, you yeah. know. Cuz I really didn't know if what swim trunks or they you know board shorts really went for, but yeah, yeah. $35. Yeah. They were really great shape too. Men's Adidas. This has got light, yeah. This is a soccer shirt and the only reason we knew is it had padded elbows and so forth. Mm -hmm. So you know, and we looked it up, and it had a you know fair price. You yeah, know, twenty five I mean, bucks, yeah, twenty five dollars yeah. for a four ninety nine shirt. We're in, that's we're good with I that. I mean, sometimes you know, if you're out yard selling, you might pick something like this up for a dollar or fifty cents. You exactly. know, you never know. I mean, yes. somebody might give you a basket full of them for a dollar. Like you know, five affliction shirts yeah. for two dollars a piece. So I mean, you can't go wrong if you turn a dollar or two into twenty five dollars. Exactly. You know, that's, that's pretty yep. decent return on investment. Twenty four ninety five and up, I am good with on anything that we buy. Well, this is George Dickel's shirt. I found this one, I think, and and I was I didn't really know if it would sell or not. It's George Dickel's not as super popular. We're we're right here in the South near George Dickel. I've been I took a motorcycle ride out to George Dickel. Uh, one one cold cold morning it I remember cold, yeah. and uh, I took uh, and and we were, we're we've got um, um, Jack Daniels down the road from us mm -hmm. they're building a, rest a distillery in our town too so there's just plenty of liquor to go around here yeah, but exactly but, but George Dickel isn't exactly the you know top of the line popular, but as with but all liquor there's a following there's a following for everything yep. right it really <laughs> is and thirty especially with whiskey. Yeah, I mean, we didn't even take an offer, I don't think, on this one. Nope. Yeah, this nope. was a full price. Real one. heavy, nice cotton shirt, though. It right. was a really nice shirt. It might have been an employee shirt. Yeah, could have been. Know. It looks kind of like it was. It does, you know, like yeah. It's, it's a... 
And these are Clark's Originals. These have the Clark Originals always seem to have the crepe sole, but this is uh, the women's size seven. This is a really kind of an unusual shoe. You know, you'll you'll see Clark Originals have this crepey sole, and the crepe soles are always look dirty because as soon as you step on anything with crepe, it just sticks to it. Yep. But um, yeah, they were kind of a really unusual looking shoe, so I picked them up. Kind of looked like a moccasin or yeah, something. Yeah, kind of like, a mock thing. They had a really wide toe box, and yeah, but so. they sold pretty fast. And Irish setters. Oh yeah, these. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, so the guy bought these. Um, um, I don't, I don't really stalk my buyers, but every now and then you gotta like wonder, you know, who's buying these shoes and, right. and who, who are you dealing with based on your communications. <laughs> yeah. so, so first thing, he sent us an offer for like ten dollars for them or something crazy like that, and I hate to admit it, but I just sort of, I think I blew that one off. I just, I might have just declined yeah, it. I, we I usually so. try to come back on every offer, but you know, if you got a ten dollar offer, some people just shotgun stuff inside. I just said, nah, this guy's messing with us. So yeah. So we. So I, I declined it. Well, a few days later or a day later or whatever, we get another offer from him. And this time it's it's a little more reasonable. And he says, uh, I'm sorry I sent you, or he said, I sent you a lowball offer because it needs laces. And I'm going to spend $10 getting laces and, 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 all, another, this, and all this story. And, and another, something and else blah, for blah, a, blah. Lace yeah, a lace threader and all, and all this stuff. <laughs> And it, so, you know, and so, I'm thinking, what is he talking about? And so I'm wondering, you know, who who is the person buying the shoes? So I googled is after he bought it, he did buy them eventually, and we we sold it to. We took an offer. I think we did take an offer on uh -huh. it. The thirty dollars, yeah. thirty five dollars, something like that. Yeah, yeah. He came back with a reasonable offer, and we took that. Yeah. But I had to Google this name just to see, you know, and in the town he was in, just to see, and it, and uh, you know, it pops up. It says he. I think he's eighty eight years old. So yeah. you know, so this goes back. Back to what we talk about a lot with people that have a certain type of shoe that they like you yes. know even though it made by you know I, who knows how long we would have had the shoe oh i know somebody because irish setters not first name no. it pops in your head you and know red, but red wing is a good brand don't get me wrong it red is, wing yeah. is you know and, that but this model is an old it. style yeah, yeah very old style and the fact they didn't need blue laces now looking at it from here you know i didn't give it any thought but if you look at another shot the next shot over after this one right the next shot that one the next shot from the first one There you go. Click on that one. So you'll see. See how that, see how the lacing goes to the side of the shoe and all the way around the back? That's one continuous lace. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and that, it's like that with Sperry's. Sperry's will have a yeah. lace that goes all the way around the whole shoe. I thought that side piece was decoration, but when he made the comment, I'll have to get a lace threader. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, those are a continuous lace yeah, also. All the, way, all the way around. So yeah. when you buy laces for something like that, I mean, you might need a 43 for the, the three holes there, but then yeah. you need another 12 inches to go around the shoe. So that is going to be a pain. I mean, yeah. not to me, you, know, you might not need some fancy tool, but it's not going to be a, just a three lace so, walk in the park. And we gave him a deal and he actually gave us good feedback. Oh, yeah. So it, it was a happy ending for and everybody. I, on I, that one. It's really rewarding for me to sell <laughs> yeah. like this older shoe to a gentleman who's been in love with it. These are from 2005 yeah. is when these shoes are from. Yeah. And that's, you know, hard to believe, uh, but that's 15, 15 years. years wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. From April Time of flies. 2005. Yeah. Yep. Vionic, solid seller. Yep. They sell everything, flats, sandals, everything. Got to be careful, though, with them because they do break down temperature and things like and age really does a number on them. But, you know, these are in great shape, yeah. you know. Yeah. Good. Sold for thirty nine ninety five. Yeah. And last but not least, some weird Johnson, Johnson and Murphys. Murphys. Now you see a lot of Johnson and Murphy men's dress shoes. You'll see what we, you know, sell the wingtips, the cap toes, and all those different things. That, but this been is another forever. was classified as a fisherman sandal because yeah. it has open weave and the thick straps. So I think that's the first Johnson Murphy I saw like that. Though. Yeah. Have you seen one? Oh like no, that? never. Yeah, uh -uh. I don't think so. But my, these have that lambskin or sheepskin interiors that yeah. is so soft. I mean, they're beautiful. They're shoes. really nice. Yeah. Excellent good shape. shape. Too. Excellent yeah. shape. But yeah, they sold pretty fast. Forty four ninety five. You may notice this shot sometimes. I, I do. I shoot everything. I try to. I miss a few every now and then. But I try to shoot everything with a ruler. 
to the back of it. I like to show the back of the shoes because people want to see what kind of wear is back there. Exactly. And so that's always a good shot to do. But it also, uh, the ruler shows kind of gives you a sense of scale of the shoe. You know, yep. so you can Thickness tell how high soil. it is up on your ankle or how low it is or how mm -hmm. thick your sole is. And I started doing. I used to do it on just heels because we want to know it's a three and a half inch heel yeah. or whatever. But I started just doing it on every every shoe because yep. it's why not? You know, you're already there. So, yeah. So, um, and I think that's all the ones we're going to show tonight. Um, yeah. We've got probably a bunch more to do, but we will work them in. Um, we uh, this in uh, old school soulmate news this week. We uh, we made the uh, we put in the paperwork, so to speak, to go to manage payments. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. We'll let you know as as time goes on. We're we're on the list, which means that. We're not doing it yet, but as soon as we do, we'll find out what that's like. That experience is going to be a little bit different, but I'm optimistic at this point. I think it, if eBay can, if their system holds up <laughs> correctly, then I think the the pro, what's been described to us sounds decent enough. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, we didn't yeah. have a choice, so and, you know, you got to go. And another thing we were talking about doing, um, and that's uh we're, we're thinking about doing a series of take starting a new account another ebay account mm -hmm. and taking you along with us from the first day all the way through from and, creation of the account right from creation of the account to it will take you thrifting with us buy the products for this account mm -hmm. we'll buy a few for this account make sure that we always have mm -hmm. and we'll start off with just a personal account with no store or anything like that no nothing so uh you taking know, things from the house yeah, we might do that. I think we'll probably start off with thrifts, though, yeah. just so mm -hmm. that we can kind of keep it out of see, so so we can see everything, you know. Right. Because not everybody might have have what we have in our house. And, yeah. But it, you see us oh, get into thrifts. Oh, every woman knows. Probably do. Look yeah, in but, my closet. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So um, okay, I lost my train of thought there. Um, but anyway, so we, we want to take you along with us so the whole way, you know, go to the thrift stores, find it, yard sales, whatever we find this stuff at, we'll, we'll take you, we'll show you how we list it, we'll we'll do, you know, details of this. And this is in addition to the other stuff, we'll still do our, you know, hauls yeah. and stuff like that, but but to try to, to show a new person, hopefully what we'll create throughout this is, is it a complete journey from zero to hero, you know, so yeah. when you, you start off with nothing, and you could, and you could go if you don't have money of course absolutely you could go to your closet and get this stuff too or some of the stuff you right because we, we live things. in a very small town very and small if, community and if you wear these kind of shoes that you see us talk about all the time and, right and, yeah absolutely you, yeah, you don't see a out. lot of gucci around here and a lot of people start that way that's the best way to start really i think you know don't spend money if you don't need to so if you've got stuff around the house pull it out and what would be fun too is if you could tell us what you're doing as we go through this process because the way we we imagine this is that after a year or two of this we might build this up into a store by then you know so we're going to kind of take it along like a journey of of, of a new person starting out and uh, you know it'd be kind of fun to see what you're listing along with us so you know right. if you played along at home so to speak you could uh, you know you could play along with us and, and list your stuff and and you know tell us what you sold that kind of thing and and we'll give you a shout out on the on the you know on the and video. I mean I don't know when we're going to exactly start this so if you guys have any suggestions like you'd want us to see what we could do with say two hundred dollars yeah or you know or fifty dollars or ten dollars or whatever, you know, whatever it is you, you know. know what it or you know like i said you know it's like okay i've got two hundred dollars to start an ebay store yeah you know if that's where you think we should start at we'll go out we'll take two hundred dollars cash and and shop with that yeah. you know and, so and leave that comments. as our budget yeah put it down in the comments if um you got some you know, ideas or what what, what amount dollar amount do you think we ought to start with uh whether you think we should stick with just shoes or shoes and clothes whatever 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 you think so anyway put us your ideas down in the comments and we'll uh we'll listen to you and see what um you know what you think and if you think if you think this is a good idea if you think this is something useful let us know if, if you don't yeah. let us know say yeah i don't think that's really useful i think you know some people i know i would have liked to have had somebody doing this when you know and followed them along yeah yeah, yeah. so you can get an yeah. idea of what you know what what's it going to take because we haven't we haven't been doing this very long no i mean absolutely years? not yeah. you know this this august i think it would be our third year yeah 
but July. We were, yeah. July, July we, we were selling yeah. we were so by Christmas of our first year we actually were selling pretty consistently yeah. I remember when the first couple of things sold we we're like oh my gosh somebody bought some <laughs> yeah. you know I mean it's pretty cool because yeah. it was we we're kind of nervous yeah you know and you I didn't mean, know how to ship and you, we we're going to take you through shipping it packing it and we're not going to be using I'm going to try to do this as simple as possible mm-hmm. I have a I have a, a thermal printer and I have all this stuff that we bought through right. the years but you don't need all that you can do this Absolutely actually not. we can use we can use just a regular printer and we um, did we and we did regular... for, for a while we <laughs> for did quite a absolutely while. yeah we didn't have any fancy labels we just used paper and taped it on there absolutely. i mean if that's what you got that's what you got yep. and i was i've been um i've been looking at different people's you know um i've been watching a lot of videos on how to start an ebay channel just to see what other people have been doing and i noticed that there's so many people in the comments that are saying i'm afraid of this mm-hmm. and I'm afraid of that. You know, like I read a comment today that said they were afraid to start a retail business and you know online to because they were afraid they wouldn't be able to find stuff. Okay. Mm, yeah. That's actually, you know, are they afraid that what if I get a return or what if I get a mean nasty customer? We're going to take you through all this. If if we do this, we'll do this purely transparent uh-huh. yeah. this account you'll see everything you'll see how much we make how much we return how much yeah. how, uh, everything we just want to show you from the ground up and it's going to be kind of a challenge to us is can we use our knowledge that we've made in, over the last three years to see if we can actually start a store do again. it again yeah and see how fast it grows doing it a second time because right. i've always heard people say well if i had to do it all over again i could yeah, you know, I could do it much faster and quicker. Let's, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Who knows? It's a pandemic, so yeah. I don't know about that. But, but yeah, because we were so gun ho, we bought everything that moved. Yeah, which was terrible. That's a bad idea. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then we learned that that it's better to. So there will be a few mistakes. Quality, hopefully. quality Ooh. over quantity. Yes. You know, that's that's what you want to look for. But yeah, so I mean that that's what we think we're thinking about. So if you think that's a good idea, let us know. Love to hear from anybody out there. Uh, love to hear comments. If you like what you're seeing please subscribe to you know to the channel that helps us grow helps us get our messages out there so um and also if you can ring that bell that'll let you know when we got a new video coming out and also give us a thumbs up if you like what you see and if you don't like what you see hit the thumbs down twice Mm -hmm.